I've been noticing that the length of my Fast Friday videos has sort of been creeping up and up and up. Either I need to drop the title fast or I need to make my videos a little bit shorter. Let's see if I can do that today. Hi everyone, welcome to pal to tech One of the most common questions I often get asked has to do with the Fujifilm camera's sports finder mode. Basically, the sports finder mode in your Fujifilm camera is a setting option that will overlay a shooting frame in your viewfinder or even on the rear LCD screen. To turn on sports finder mode, simply go into the camera icon in settings and it's right here, simply turn it on. Once you have it enabled, you'll see a white frame rectangle. That is the frame of your image. And as you can see, kind of in the upper right area, it now shows M for medium. I'll get into that in just a second. Everything that is going on outside of that rectangle in this area right here will not appear in the photograph. You will only capture what is inside the frame. You basically are using this area right here around the frame to see what is about to enter your frame so that you can move the camera and be ready to go when it does. Now, here's some things you need to know if you're gonna use Sports Finder mode. First off, Sports Finder mode will work in both raw and JPEG files. So whichever one you shoot, you can use Sports Finder mode. Secondly, as soon as you enter it, you immediately get a 1.25 times crop factor, meaning that your image resolution will drop down to 4,992 by 3,328. That's the price you pay for being able to see in the viewfinder what's happening outside the frame of your camera. And third, Sports Finder mode will not work with the electric electronic shutter, only the mechanical shutter. Because of this, well, this leads me to my fourth point, which has to do with the maximum continuous shooting burst rate that you can use with sports finder mode, and that's 15 frames a second maximum. This restriction is because of the fact that it will not allow the camera to shoot in electronic shutter. Lastly, and I have to mention this, sports finder mode is enabled by default with the touchscreen on the X-T3 in the X-T4 camera, and it is so easy to accidentally trip it up with your nose. I've seen so many questions from Fujifilm camera owners who accidentally, one day with their new camera, find themselves looking at this strange, you know, rectangle on their screen. They don't know what it is or how they got it. So if you're one of those people, or if you're not using Sports Finder mode, or if you use it very rarely, disable Sports Finder touchscreen so that you don't accidentally trigger it. Well, that's it. I told you it would be a fast video. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, be sure to give it the like and subscribe. Have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you in another video next week. Take care.